The Dragon Ball universe is vast. It's filled with characters, planets, universes, and all kinds of things that we could imagine. But one concept in the Dragon Ball universe is alternate universes or alternate timelines. Where in those timelines, we have almost the same characters, but different situations which leads to a different future so characters that achieve the form in one timeline could have never achieved that form in a different timeline or even they might not be living anymore anything that you could imagine you have it an endless roads of possibilities exist in those timelines and it's only bound by our imagination one of those universes is a universe where Vegito never diffused a universe where Goku and Vegeta existed as one this was the idea of the Putar fusion if anyone fuses with it they can't diffuse but in Dragon Ball Super that changed and we were given the info that mortals diffuse after 30 minutes that's what we know now but what if there's a universe where that wasn't the case a universe where whoever fuses with the Putar earrings never diffuse and this is the universe that we're gonna explore in this timeline there's something special and that's Vegito and not only that this timeline we're gonna see the life of him and the life of the daughter that he had this is Dragon Ball Multiverse Goku and Vegeta's daughter we get our first look at Vegito and his daughter she's like all of the Saiyan race as she's eating she's worried about training and she doesn't like going on missions that are just boring like that someone confronts her and says it's an honor to have the daughter of Vegito as she gets disgusted by him she punches him sending him crashing to the wall this is just because she's short tempered like that you could imagine how strong she is since she's not the daughter of Goku nor Vegeta she's the daughter of both of them at the same time she has both of their powers Vegeta is the birth of a fusion between two Saiyans who are amongst the most powerful beings in the universe when they fused a new warrior was born named Vegito, the strongest being of all time in this timeline there is no god of destruction there's no god power in some sort so in this universe the strongest is Vegito. he accepted to appear like kaioshins and was sent on missions all over the universe to settle conflicts and fight even none survived the great Vegito. he was quickly known in every world as a great hero or even as a god and as he trained he took along two adventurous girls now we go to the birth of his daughter she has a tail he has her with Pomo not Chi Chi as he asks what are we gonna name her Pom has the idea of the name Pro. he's thinking about the name and the more he thought about the name he gets why she wants to name her Pro. and this Vegito isn't like Goku in a sense that he doesn't care about the birth of one of his kids but this Vegito is compassionate he's holding his daughter and since she has a tail he wants to keep it but Bom asked him if becoming an ape and attacking your friends and whatnot was just Goku the only one doing it or is it common among all of the Saiyans as he's imagining what will happen if she has a tail like she holding trunks or injuring Piccolo as Boma tells him Vegito do something he says oh yeah but just look at how healthy she is this is something about him that when he sees her like that he's gonna be happy she's his daughter after all he wants a scouter to know what is her power level he instant transmission without pra in a second gets the scouter and comes back and holds her before she falls now when he checks her power level it's 13,500 this is something extraordinary for a saiyan at this age when he was just born to have this kind of a power level it's more than Broly and Vegeta knows it at her age she could even defeat Nappa Vegeta tells her don't worry she will grow way stronger and that's how Bra joined Vegeta's family her adventures were only the beginning in Gohan's place Gohan just had his daughter Pan he asked Piccolo to be the godfather he has big plans for her like becoming a scientist but Vegito has different ideas he wants to see her as a space cop crushing monsters and beating Frieza like nothing exploding one or two planets from time to time that's what Vegito wants her to be like this Vegito found his two pupils who were going to help him keep order in the universe Pan and pra as he's holding both of them he says they take time to grow up can't we put them two days in the time chamber he wants to do that to make them grow up faster six years after that 
فيجيتو فيديل بان اند برا جو فور ترينينج ايفن فيديل تاكس الونج شي ثينكس ذات شي كان كيب اب ويز ذا تو ات ذا رينج سينس فيجيتو اجريز هي سيز جاست ا وورم اب ا سيركل اراوند ذا ايرث ذا ثري اوف ذيم فلاي بات فيديل ستيل اون ذا جراوند شي سبرايز ا سيركل اراوند ايرث از ذا ثري اوف ذيم فلاي ان ا فاست سبيد فيديل اوريدي كان سي ذيم سو شي كمز داون ذا جراوند اند ستارتس اكسرسايزين ا وايل افتر ذات از شي از ترينينج ذا ثري اوف ذيم فينيش از ذي ارايف بان از هابي تو سي هير مذر بان تيلز هير يو ار سو فاست ان فرونت اي كودنت سي يو فيديل دازنت ديناي ذات اند ناو They will get serious. Now we go on a mission with Vegito and Pra. He says in order to stop the fights, you must hit them. But careful, not too hard. They are all very fragile. You can destroy tanks, but not when someone is in it. You shouldn't break toxic weapons or else the gas will spread around. He's just given her the pointers of what to do so she won't take the life of someone by accident or by any sort. What I'm worried about in this Vegito is there's no one stronger than him. So how How is he having fun anymore? As Vegito is talking more, chants could be heard saying, "That's Vegito. Vegito is here. The God, Vegito." They all bow down to him and say, "We all surrender." And this plan that he had in mind won't work now. Now we see different scenarios of how life is on this planet. How everyone is different than the other. For example, as Trunks is sleeping, he screams and says that there's a monster under his bed. Vegito says that he can detect energy of all of the beings. There isn't anything under his bed. The same scenario happened when Vegeta was there instead of Vegito. But this time, Vegeta. Vegeta goes to see Trunks and tells him if there's a monster under your bed, then destroy him like all of your enemies. And this just shows that Vegeta doesn't care like how Vegeta cared about his son. And the same goes for Goku. When Goten did the same thing, Goku was there for him. He checked under his bed. He wanted to see the monster, even if he just wanted to fight him. He was there. But Vegeta isn't like the both of them. He has a different character than Goku and Vegeta. A character that isn't quite Goku and isn't quite. Vegeta. But on a different planet, after a mission, when Pra was sleeping, she has the same thing. But this time, it's different because of how strong she is. She takes out the monster, and the monster screams to his dad that there's a monster on his bed. He's scared. This just shows us the difference between all of them. That Pra is on a whole different level than all of them. Vegeta and Pra will have more adventures. Pra especially will have a few emotional problems and will go on many adventures and missions in the future. And also Vegito isn't all white. Same blood will boil as he lacks an enemy at his side. This is what I'm saying. If Vegito is the strongest, then there's no one stronger than him. What's the fun in that? Maybe Pra will be that someone someday. That someone who will make Vegito happy and make him have someone. That he can spar with. We see one of those stories of Pra in year 784. As she flies to Gohan's place, he opens the door for her. She asks him, "Why are you calling me Pra? It's her name after all. So what is she implying?" Pra tells him she is his sister. She wants to be called Sun Pra. I'm also in the Sun family. He tells her you didn't come to play with Pan, did you? And with that, their sparring begins. Pra is really strong, and Gohan is training her. She tells him strong. So why can't I beat you? Why can't I turn into a Super Saiyan? Why are you and Dad? So invincible. He tells her, "You're only six years old. None of us even approached your power at that age. I won't wait. I'm too powerless. I hate it. And I found a way, a trigger." As she's crying, she says, "You always win. I feel so weak against you. So weak." Then she transforms to a super Saiyan and goes at Gohan. But this time she fires Ki blasts. Gohan screams for her to not do that. As he blocks them, he says, "Never shoot towards the ground." And this. This happens because she has a huge power level, and if it hits the ground, it may destroy part of her. Pra says as she's charging more energy in a fight. There are no rules. Gohan tells her to calm down, or he will have to stop her by force. Pra tells him because you weren't using your full force before makes me even madder. As she charges the key blast, she fires it towards him. As he fires the Kamehameha at the same time, as the explosion happens, Gohan wins it. And since Prof lying, he takes her to Dindes and heals her. She doesn't remember what happened. 
but Vegito is there. He tells her, you have a self-control problem to take care of. As he takes her to the time chamber, he tells her, now turn, Super Saiyan. She can't, she needs to be angry. Vegito tells her that's the problem. Strong emotions trigger the transformation the first time, but after that, we need to control it. It's been 10 minutes since they entered the chamber. It means it's been 2 days and a half. But Vegito comes out of the chamber all angry. He says that she doesn't listen, she won't cooperate, and actively makes everything harder. As the instant transmission out of there, he says, I give up. And this is not like Goku and Vegeta. I'm saying that he failed at training her because he doesn't know how to train her as Vegeta or as Goku. It's all mixed up. That's why he can't train her the way that Goku trained Gohan or Vegeta trained Trunks because it is not the mindset of both of them separately, it's both of them combined. Two different ideas of how to train in one. Gohan gets in there with her. He will take care of her from now on. He tells her please turn Super Saiyan but she's not in the mood. He tells her by the way Trunks is outside and he says you fight like a girl which makes her go to a Super Saiyan from the anger that she felt. Gohan smiles and says good from now on we will stay Super Saiyan all the time except for sleeping. They will stay here. He's taking pictures, books and fills, a board game and cold pan. She's coming to play with them. Pra prefers training. He agrees to that. They will train a P2, but only for a limited time each day. As Pan arrives, and we see how they spend time reading books, playing games, and at the end, Gohan tells her, You've done great, bro. Let's get back. As she masters her Super Saiyan form. As Gohan gets out, he asks Piccolo how much time passed. Piccolo tells him the same time. The door was open, and you were three inside which means in that short amount of time that was way less than vegeto gohan managed to train pra and make her use her super saiyan form it just shows what conflict vegeto has in his head in making tough decisions and making the influence as she gets out all of them are there she apologizes for what happened they want to test her so they call Gotex. as he's there he says it's such an honor for you as she transforms pra says well he's annoying but too weak for me i'd say and then a fast speed goes at him and punches him away he gets up and transforms to a super saiyan also and their fight starts as they're exchanging attacks Gotenks blocks one of her punches and kicks her away as she gets up she fires key blasts at him then she charges a giant energy attack Gotenks says that he can punch it to the sky but the impact will destroy the palace get the others to safety as Vegito is gonna interfere Gohan tells him don't move dad he trusts Pra as the attack is in the air Pra disappears she goes behind Gotenks and drops his pants. As he tries to attack her, she dodges. She embarrasses him in front of all of them. So in anger he says, I will reduce you to ashes as he charges an energy attack. But Vegito stops the fight. Pra tells him, it seems you're losing your cool here. As Gohan standing there smiling, he says, I think our test is a success. That's exactly what he did. He changed her because he showed her how to do it. He showed her the way that she can change and the way to control her super saiyan form, unlike Vegito. Pra is different than all of them. She has the potential to surpass everyone since she has the blood of Goku and Vegeta in one body. She transformed to a Super Saiyan easily and she can go beyond all of that. She can become the strongest Saiyan that ever existed. Years have passed after that to the year 790. Vegeta is assigned to a mission by the Kaioshin. With him is everyone he knows. Gohan and Videl are assigned to a planet. Trunks and Pan are assigned to another. Pra and Goten are assigned together. Pra is gonna teleport them. She has the instant transmission like her father. And thus, their mission to save the universe will begin. Pra locks in the position of the planet. And thus, their mission begins. They all teleport right away. Each to his designated location. But elsewhere in space, a cubic kilometer of magic water had just appeared and guess who's in it it vegeto he's angry because he's the only one who's been assigned to an underwater location the voice could be heard vegeto this is the end of your existence i'm in your head you can't destroy me 
you have to defeat your worst fear to get out of this illusion. As we see, it's grown up prop. Behold what you most fear. Someone of your blood becoming stronger than you. Walking on the path of destruction. The universe annihilated by your own blood. Your daughter governed by evil. This is his worst fear that someone from his family more capable than him becoming someone who will destroy the universe someone who walks with the path of evil and that was also the fear of Goku and Vegeta someone like them becoming evil who will stop them then and prob becoming that becoming driven by her own desire of destruction and power becoming evil but Vegeta doesn't give her a chance and he punches her she tells him you can hit your daughter like that in cold blood he says you said it it's an illusion so what doesn't even feel empathy even thinking about it it's an illusion then who cares so pra gets angry and transforms her super saiyan 3 4. i think even if this is an illusion it might happen it shows him a part of the future that might actually occur she goes at him as he himself transforms to his super saiyan 3 4 and gets the upper hand on her but she fires a key blast at him he blocks it from on top of him Pra goes in at him catching him off guard she starts laughing at him you lack air you've lost this is it for vegeto but vegeto just powers up and destroys the cubic he says whether it's magic technology or anything else pure power can defeat anything you just need to be a thousand times stronger so that's how he has beaten her with his power raw power but that power doesn't as he says always work sometimes raw power can be the solution to everything we saw his deepest fear the thing that might be the end of him his daughter the daughter of goku and vegeta Pra. that was the time that he met her trained her saw her future it was the time that we've seen goku's daughter Pra. and this is it this was the end of the story of Pra. this far I want to thank you all for watching, if you enjoyed, subscribe and like, and if you didn't enjoy, dislike, but all in all, thank you for watching, I hope you're safe, and saying that, I will see you on the next one, bye bye everyone.